Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah here with Furniture Flip by Sarah. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to modify your furniture. For this video, I'm going to be modifying the drawer that sits in here. I'm going to be removing this and replacing it with a shelf. So if you can see in the little clip, the original drawer when I bought this piece didn't match the rest. It was missing the little handle because this piece is so low. It's one of those nine drawer mid-century pieces. I thought, why not turn it into a little shelf so you could use it for your TV stand. You could put your um, box in there, a video game, whatever system you have hooked up to your TV. That way it's super seamless. So in today's video, I'm going to share how I'm going to do that and how you can do that yourself at home if you want to modify your furniture. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and remove this drawer out here and I'm going to go ahead and take this track off and I'm actually going to keep it with the drawer and save that for another project because I can definitely reuse that and build it into another piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my Dewalt drill to remove the little screw at the front. And just like that, it's out. And then this back piece here is just in with a little nail on an angle just to support it, but it came right out once I took that screw out. So to measure the shelf, I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, guide as a guide for my shelf. And I'm, I think I want my supports to sit right about here. So the same length of this piece, I'm gonna create a three. So I'm gonna have one here, one in the center, and one on the end here. And this is just gonna support my shelf. And then I can put some wood across here and add a little piece on the front for detail. And then I can go ahead and paint all that up and it'll still leave me with a decent amount of space because it does open up deeper in here. So I will have about five inches or so for storage space. So let's head to the garage and start cutting our wood and supplies we need to build the shelf. Before I go ahead and make my cuts, I want to share the tape measure I'm using with you guys. It, if you can see that, it shows you the fractions and this is gonna come in super handy when you're measuring pieces of wood and you need to know the exact fraction. It is right on there. And and as well as replacing hardware um, handles, sorry, to measure the hardware holes. So this way you can see exactly what size handle you need. Sometimes, or a lot of times with older pieces, they're like three inches and maybe one quarter or an eighth. So this tape measure really helps you with that. I ended up changing my design for the shelf and instead of doing the supports I'm going to be putting my wood across like this and then I'm just going to build a support that goes along this very back wall here that will kind of replicate this so I'm going to go ahead and just see how tall I need these supports to be and then I'm going to add them along the back here and then I can put everything together. So I ended up cutting my supports. I had one piece of this wood here. So I just used this as my template and I cut some scrap wood to use as supports for the rest of it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my supports glued in place. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Gorilla Glue. This is just their wood glue and this stuff works really well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and glue those into place and then I will add the actual shelf support. To create my pocket holes, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Craig jig that is meant for pocket holes. It comes with everything you need, I believe. This is around $100 to $200, um, but it is definitely a great investment. I definitely recommend it um, if you're gonna be building smaller things or even repairing pieces. This is perfect. You wanna check the thickness of your wood and adjust it accordingly. So now that I got the wood slats all Craig jigged, right there you can see, and one is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and use some wood glue. This is just the Gorilla wood glue. It works super good. I've used it on a couple different projects and I have the bit that came with my Craig jig here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use these Craig jig screws to screw my pieces into the bottom base.
put my supports in right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and just take my white pine and I'm going to measure it out to make sure everything is good to go. That way I can just glue it down and screw it in uh, right here. So as you can see, these two pieces are sticking out a little bit, which I figured they would because of the back support. So I went ahead and kind of marked out where I need to cut so that I can just slide these right into place and that they all align really nice and even. I don't have any really fancy tools when it comes to woodworking. I'm still kind of getting into that. So again, take all this with a grain of salt. I hope this video just helps you. And I'm just kind of sharing how to do this with very little tools. So I do have this saw here and I am just using it to cut the little notch out, but I do have to go over quite a bit. So you will see that. Um, if you know what tool I need for this or another way that's a lot easier to get this little cut out, definitely let me know down below in the comments. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one and then I can put them into place. So this piece I still need to cut out a little bit on the back edge so I can be able to slide it in. everything screwed in from the bottom I screwed in from the top to the supports I screwed in the supports from the back and then I made the pocket hole on the bottom with my Craig jig to screw it into the base so this shelf is not going anywhere it's super sturdy and can hold quite a bit of weight so now the next step to finishing this off are to add a little um, hole in the back here for your cords and then I'm going to go ahead and just use some caulking to fill this front area and make sure it's super smooth and that it really blends in when the piece is completed. That way when I go to paint it there'll be no cracks or seams. I'm going to go ahead and use Alex Plus by Daps and this is just their paintable caulking. I'm just going to go ahead and run it across here and then wipe it with a damp cloth. To add a hole on the back of this piece, I'm going to go ahead and use this hole saw drill bit. And this is a 2 and 1 8 or 54 millimeter size bit. So I now have everything done on this little shelf here. I ended up adding the hole in the back and I caulked the front here so everything is ready for primer. To apply my primer, I'm just using a dollar store brush and I like to wrap it up when I'm done and store it in the fridge, that way it lasts. And any areas that can be rolled. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because this is gonna give me a smooth surface when I'm done. And I will go ahead and sand this before I paint. So here's the final look of the shelf. I can't wait to fully flip this piece and see everything come to life. Once this primer dries, I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly sand everything down, clean it, and then I can start painting. But I'm really loving how this looks and I really think it's gonna look super sleek with the rest of this piece. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys on Sunday with another furniture flipping video.
If you'd like to check out the full flip for this piece, make sure you head over to our Instagram account. I will link it down below for you guys. I will be sharing the full reveal there and I will be doing a reel of the whole makeover. So if you want to see that, make sure you go check it out.